it gave us an idea of a couple of things. One is following the disease course, using it as a tool, determining how we're going to make a decision, whether or not for a horse to perform a race, how long we might use an antimicrobial, if they have pneumonia, those type of things. And it was something that we can use as a tool right now, as opposed to waiting for some of the more traditional laboratory testing to, to come back. So it's really a, a horse side decision making. Traditionally, we've used things like the, the clinical evaluation of the animal. Do they have a fever or not? What their complete blood count looks like? Do we have a raised white blood cell count or a raised fibrinogen? But those were frustrating because often they didn't match the clinical course. They were slow uh, things to change in the clinical course of the animal. And where CRM Amber A, we've seen that it, it changes much more rapidly. And it may fluctuate in a disease course. And I think that's where we're learning is we can use it as a real-time monitor of how the animal's body is responding to, say, infection and how well it's responding to our medical therapy. You know, realizing I work in a, a critical care environment, so not so much the guy who's looking at the horse that's getting ready to enter a show or just offloaded on an airplane for a transport across an ocean. Um, I'm looking at it more as a real-time monitoring of is our initial therapy on the right course? Have we probably treated sufficient length of time and the animal's no longer showing a response to an infection with the antibiotics? We are under pressure these days to use as little antimicrobials as possible. So it gives us that time course within the disease process. And we're gaining ground in, in um, still relatively new, you know, whereas all in the past we left a lot to clinical judgment. Now we actually have a tool we can say day to day how we're doing. It's a decision maker and it's a, a quick real time decision maker that we can use day to day looking at infectious processes for the horse patient.